Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Olympics and the committee and that hosts it. Also, I want to give a shout out to my new second channel. I just created it a couple of days ago and I'm on track to upload there in a week and a half. The name is Minecraftopolis. I will be uploading Minecraft content over there. Check it out and I'll leave a link in the description for that channel. Let us get into the video guys. Let's talk now talk about the International Olympic Committee first, or IOC. The Olympics is a tournament that is run by the IOC. A city is chosen to host the Summer or Winter Olympics. The committee started the Olympics way back in 1896. This competition draws a lot of international attention and broadcasting companies live stream these events every four years. A lot of countries participated in it, including the U.S., Canada, Australia, and many more. However, athletes do not get paid for participating in the Olympics. The president of the organization is Thomas Back. Did I say his name right? Let's now go back in history and see how they began. The Olympics was believed to start way back in 776 B.C. That is over 2,700 hundred years ago. It began in the Greek city of Olympia. It started to mark the life of a Greek god named Zeus. In the early Olympics, women were not allowed to play or watch the games. They were traditionally held every four years. Some of the earliest Olympic games were running, boxing, long jump, and many more. Have you ever wondered how the cities for the Olympics are chosen? Well, let's find out. The International Olympic Committee, or IOC, holds a bid. Any city who is willing to participate can enter the bid. The top members of the IOC vote for who should host Olymp the other Olympics or upcoming. Members keep on voting until a city has a majority vote. That city is the host of the Olympics. The cities are decided 12 years in advance so that they have a lot of time to prepare for hosting it. A lot of work is put into it. Cities usually need to build a lot of stadiums and I don't have an exact number. That means they're going to have to clear out a lot of land to fit in these places. Since construction costs a lot, the IOC has set a budget on how many dollars a city can spend. That budget is in the billions. However, many cities have gone over that budget several times. Then comes the Olympic, which draws large crowds. Those crowds bring in a lot of money for the city. Let's now shift over to the Olympics itself. The Winter Olympics is a multi-sport competition that happens every four years. It has several games that are played in the winter time. It first began in 1924 in Chamon, France. Here are some sports played in the Winter Olympics. Ice hockey, speed skating, ski jumping, snowboarding, and figure skating, and much more. Hosting one Olympic seems very hard. Well, there are two types of Olympics that happen. The Summer Olympics is another multi-sport event that happens every four years. It happens in the summer. It first began in 1896 in Athens, Greece. Note, there's a gap of two years between each Olympic event. So Summer Olympic Games happen and the Winter Olympic Games happen and the pattern keeps on repeating. A whole city cannot host two Olympics together in four years. Here are some sports that are played in the Summer Olympics. Basketball, swimming, boxing, football, tennis, and much more. An Olympic event does not come with environmental consequences. They have a big impact on the environment. Once the games are done, most of the stadiums have no use so they're not used. So they leave stadiums in dust and rots the building. That makes these effort put into making it worthless and is a huge waste. If it is at least being used, then it tells that it was not a waste of money. Because of this reason, there has been a steady decline in cities willing to host the Olympics. For example, there are only two cities who are willing to host the Olympics, which is like very low from before. 
Also, putting the stadiums back in its original shape is a very hard thing to do. Please look at the pictures on the right that show the street. Let's go back in history and see who hosted the last three Summer and Winter Olympics. The last three hosts of the Summer Olympics is London in 2012, Rio de Janeiro in 2016, and Tokyo in 2020, even though it is yet to begin. The last three cities to host the Winter Olympics is Vancouver in 2010, Sochi in 2014, and Pyongyang in 2018. Since the Tokyo Olympics is just a matter of days away, let's talk about how the worldwide competition is going to go like this time. The games were originally set to take place in 2020, but were postponed in 2021 due to the coronavirus. This time, fans from the international world are now allowed to come and watch the games in the stadium, allowing local fans is also banned with the spread of COVID in Japan. The committee said they won't postpone the games any further. One rule for cameramen include being tracked by a GPS. Athletes, meanwhile, will be masked if they're not in their rooms or while they're competing or exercises. Sing. People in the bubble cannot get close or touch each other. Finally, athletes will be tested at least once per day. Thank you so much for watching this video. Also, if you're wondering why I have not uploaded in a long time, then please check the description regarding that. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you really love my content and you feel on more of it. Also, do not forget to like and share this video if it is good and others can benefit out of it too. Also, turn on the notification bell so if you do not want to miss new uploads on my channel. Alright then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!